hindi yung savings sa accounts natin, kundi yung longevity natin because they want us around. At least 70-80. Ang usapan natin dito, average natin 95. Pastor, 195 po? 195. Well, uh, look, I share something about na, how, how to prolong life, eh, no? Sabi nga kapag daw ito ay merong healthy living, you know, you need to add, I think, five uh, years of your life. That includes food, exercise, uh, social activity, ano, religious activity, kailangan din eh, yung faith mo sa, sa Panginoon. At uh, so these are the factors in addition for, for average life of 70. Now, uh, five minutes of your time, nasabi ko nga kanina, uh, the reason why we are here, we focus on the physical aspect. Now there is another factor of blood that we need to take mag invest in tayo ng panahon and that will be the spiritual aspect. Kasi spiritual being tayo eh. Uh, time will come, we will, we will cease to exist. Pero merong other life. At yung next life na yun, uh, once that we end up yung buhay natin physical dito, that will just the beginning of eternity. Now I remember in this life there is the, the three most greater uh, pursuit of life of, of, of people in this world. Merong tatlong pinakamahalagang gustong, gustong uh, hanapin ng tao. Uh, pa rin dun, <laughs> okay. So this, this three uh, most important pursuit of life. Uh, sabi ni Jesus sa John chapter 14 verse 6 eh, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I believe these are the three major pursuit of men. Yung way, truth, and life. A lot of people, you know, they they gonna do anything so that, that they may able to see what is the best way. Diba? The best way of achieving success. The best way para for diet. <laughs> you know, all, all, all of this way. The, the way is just like a key. Diba? Paano magiging better in life? So we're looking about the best way. But Jesus said, I am the way. So if you want the best way, I think Jesus has the best way. Uh, we are on the right way. A lot of people, tayo lahat, mga driver tayo, for us to manage to go from one distance to another in the same direction, you should know the way, right? Tama ba? Dito, pinagalitan ako ng wife ko eh. GPS na kami eh. Eh, naligaw pa rin kami. Ang hirap talaga pag di mo alam yung way eh. And the penalty of that is you're gonna spend resources. Petrol, at saka yung pag-alik ni Mises. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> honey, meron na tayo yung GPS. Oh. Wala ka pa sa tamang way. So, what sabi ko sa kanya, honey, uh, itiyan mo lang ako makakating tayo dyan. And it does, ano ha? So anyway, uh, traveler lahat tayo dito sa lupa. So one thing na kinakalangang matiyak natin sa buhay, that we must know the way. Tama ba? If we don't know the way, then we are lost traveler. I don't believe in a principle that says that all roads lead to Rome. I don't believe on that principle. Uh, I believe in one way and that is Jesus. As far as eternity is concerned. Kung kinakailangan na sa atin si Kristo, papalapit na ang Pasko, sana si Kristo nasa puso natin, then you are on the right way. The second best pursuit of man is the truth. Alam niyo, lahat ng tao gagawin lahat for them to stand on what is the truth. People, they fight for the truth. So, kinakailangan. Stability in life is truth. But Jesus said, I am the truth. So, if you want to be the truth, well, my friend, be a Jesus. Dahil siya yung katotohanan eh. Uh, lastly, and I'll close here, I think ito yung pinakamalaga sa lahat. Then, kakain na tayo. Okay? <laughs> I think it's life. Sa so, so isang school, isang professor, sabi niya sa mga estudyante niya, Let's just say that you have two lives. Dalawang beses ka mabubuhay. What you will go into these two lives at yours? Ang sabi ng professor sa mga estudyante. All of them, they answered. Sir, yung unang buhay ko, magpapakasaya ko. At yung pangalawang buhay ko, to be continued to. Tuloy ko lang uli yun. <laughs> and all of them, they answered the same thing. You know? Ang sabi niya, nakakaya, nakakalungkot naman. Nobody able to say that the second life, eh, bibigyan niya sa Panginoon. Ano ha? Dahil uh, gagastusin pa pala natin kung sarili natin. 
I think the best investment for that is that when you gave your life to Jesus because Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Wala tayong talo doon. In my closing, may isang story sa Brazil. <coughs> I remember this story so clearly. Nag-aangkat sila ng mga barabara ng ginto and they're uh, transporting it to the city. No? Uh, they're still uh, away from the, the pier. Uh, siguro mga 5 kilometers away. And then they hit uh, a very sharp underneath na rock. To cut the story short, sabi ng kapitan, okay, I think abandoned ship. We need to salvage ourselves, okay? So nagtalo na, they got 23, 23 crew from 24 yung taxi. All of them, they jump. So, and as the captain counting them, doon sa life saving boat nila, I think they're missing one crew. Pag seaman ka, ang unang alam mo, dapat lumuhi, di ba? You'll, you'll never be qualified to be a seaman unless you don't know how to swim. But they are missing one. And sabi ng captain, this is still a shallow area, why don't we salvage it? So, they managed to salvage the guy. No? At uh, laking gulat nila, nung pagka-salvage sila, the reason why the guy died, because uh, he, he hit so many bars of gold. <laughs> In this way, a lot of people, they're gonna want to save uh, material wealth, gold in this life. But we got only one life. Dapat itong dapat natin, itama yung invest natin that will be in Christ. Jesus said, what profit a man do that he will gain the entire riches of this world and yet suffer his own soul. Mm. So, best investment of life is Jesus Christ. So these are the three major pursuits of man. The way, the truth, and the life. Ang kagandaan nito, you will never be in a losing end if you invest this one and only life of Christ because you are on the right way, you are on the right route, and you have the life of Amen. Christ. Manalangin tayo. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this gathering. Uh, Lord, we balance the, the two major factors in this life, and that will be our physical health, Lord, and the spiritual life, Lord Jesus. And today, O oh Lord God, we pray that you may bless this gathering, O oh God. And, and we would like, Lord, today we would like to invest this one and only life to you. Because you are the way, the truth, and the life. And as you said in John chapter 14, verse 16. For those who want, in this very hour, I think this is not an accident. Everything is an appointed day for you. God is a God of purpose. The reason why you are here, because God mandated it for you because he loves you so much. And I would like to encourage you. If I were you, I have only one life that will soon to pass. I will only exist once. And if I would choose to invest this one and only life of mine, I will invest the one who holds the way, the truth, and the life that I know at the end that I will gain eternity. So for those who haven't yet made this decision, I would like to offer you in a simple prayer. All of all of us in, in this place, in a simple prayer. Pastor Jerry, I would like to invest my one and only life to Jesus. Let me know how. Help me how. It won't cost you anything because it is free. It's why the Father sent His Son during the first Christmas day to be our Savior. So if you want to make a decision tonight, today, I would like you to follow this simple prayer. I will tell you, you will be a winner in Christ Jesus. Follow this simple prayer. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I thank you for loving me so much. Thank you for loving me so much. And thank you, Lord Jesus. And as you said, the ultimate truth and the purpose of life, and the purpose of life. you hold it, O oh Lord. You are the way. You are the truth. You are the truth. And you are the life. You are the life. Today I would like to give my life to you, Jesus. Today I would like to give my life to you, Jesus. I invite you to be my Lord and my Savior. Those who are in you have the right way, the truth, and the eternal life. And today, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Forgive my sins since the day that I was born. Until this very hour. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. Now I have the greatest purpose of life. The greatest purpose. With this in Christ Jesus, I pray. Jesus, I pray. Amen. I'll be the one to pray, Lord. Thank you for this gathering. Lord, bless the fellowship and even the food that we were going to partake. Lord, we know eternity rejoice. 
because we balance the life, O oh Lord God, our physical health and our spiritual health. Give you all the glory, and for those people who, who prepared the, the food, O oh Lord God, bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you.